today I will show you how to make this intense flicker effect. Yo, it's Povikas here, and real quick guys, I just want to announce that I've released my Flickr presets pack. As you've seen in today's music videos, Flickr effects have become a lot more popular now. I wanted to put my own spin on it. This pack has taken me a long time to create, but I really recommend to check it out. But anyways, let's begin. Alright guys, so here we have a clip of osama -san, and we can start by pressing Ctrl alt y to make a new adjustment layer. And now let's add S Flickr. Here you can make the amplitude like way higher or whatever you want. So I'm actually gonna do just that. I'm gonna make the amplitude to 0.68. And here you can like mess around with all of these settings, you know, make it more intense. Uh, but now I just add noise. Uh, for the noise part, I like to make the amount of noise to 23%. And I like to uncheck use color noise. You can keep it or you cannot, it's it's up to you. And now let's add S hotspots. Now, as you can see, for this effect to work, you really do need the Sapphire plugin. So I really recommend to have the Sapphire plugin. And let's make the S hotspots to like 0.34 that is a pretty cool look and now let's add cc vignette uh this can change a lot for you but i'm gonna make it to 200 but for like a darker clip you might want to make this lower but i like it like this and the last effect you'll add is a deep glow now deep glow is also a plugin you can instead of deep glow you can add like normal glow or other glows but i like deep glow and the exposure i really recommend to make it lower to like 0.7 i guess maybe even lower sometimes 0.5 you see that is very glowy but it's very cool and basically we'll just flicker through the video like this. I think it's a super dope look. And what you can actually do is go to one of the effects, press Control A, go to animation, save animation preset. And here you can call it like intense uh, flicker and press save. And whenever we want to add this effect, you will be able to go to effects and presets and add intense flicker. Now you can of course add different effects if you have different plugins then mess around with those. Really make sure to like stack presets together, stack uh, flickers together. So like if you stack even this one together, it's gonna create a crazy look. Like as you can see, that is a crazy grungy like flicker look. As I said in the beginning, I also have a pack which uses deep glow and sapphire. So if you have deep glow and sapphire, I really recommend to get this presets pack and it's the flicker presets. So if you have flicker presets, you can press control alt y and you can mess around with this effect and the flicker presets. My favorite ones are the flicker heavies, I'm not gonna lie. So let's drop in flicker heavy 4v2 below uh, this layer. And this is the look you will get. I really like stacking flickers together. Now, as you might see, this might be a bit too glowy. So you can like turn down the deep glows of each other. Both of these, both of these effects have deep glows. And this is the look you will get. That is insane. Now, as you can see on some effects, this is way too bright. So just literally go to the deep glow exposure and adjust it to like 0.4. I guess here we can turn off the intense one and can press ctrl y and add it below this one and this is the flicker heavy and this is going to be a different effect and for this effect i really recommend to add like flicker darkness or add two of the same effects together this is how it looks actually insane i just love how it flickers like that if you guys want for the Flickr pieces pack, I actually have a $5 discount code, which is called Povikas. Uh, this code works on any other pack as well. And if you use code Povikas, you will save $5 off on the Flickr pieces pack or any other pack. But yeah, guys, that's about it for the tutorial. If you have any questions, then please let me know. But anyways, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.